multiple wildfires burn at this hour out of control across Los Angeles. A severe drought and fierce Santa Ana winds, some gusting to 90 and 100 miles per hour, have made for a deadly and horrific combination here, turning parts of Los Angeles County into a hellscape in just 24 hours. Everything is catching fire here. Trash bins, shrubs, trees, houses. Now that the immediate threat of the winds is over here in the fires in Southern California, a lot of people have been saying climate change responsible for the wildfires. That's not really the case. Climate is a layer like it always has been. But how do they know how much? It's a science called climate attribution. Climate scientists will run two different computer models. Same variables on both sides, except one will have the greenhouse gas emissions and the other will not. They will compare those two at the end and see what percent climate change had to do with the disaster. For example, the August complex fire, the biggest in California state history, there was a climate attribution study run for that and it showed that the moisture in the air was made 50% drier thanks to climate change. Basically, the air was so much warmer that it dried out the atmosphere and that became extra fuel for the fire. The attribution studies can look at not just what percentage it was made worse by, but how much more likely, like something would be 10 times more likely thanks to human-induced climate change. But that's the thing, it's always one layer. You will never, and not today, see anything that was caused solely by climate change. These are multiplayer events. There are always so many factors, human, nature, and a lot of times preparedness coming together or not. Dr. Christina Dahl, the vice president of science at Climate Central, gave us a great analogy. She said that she's got this banana bread recipe that she makes. And the other day she was making it from scratch and like she always does, doing it by memory, but she forgot the baking soda. It turned out flat, wasn't good. She said in that scenario, or this analogy, climate change is like the baking soda. Yes, you'd have a bread, but it wouldn't be the puffed up massive bread that she usually makes. With the baking soda, which is the climate change, you get a much more intense fire that can go longer and this tragedy. Whether climate makes a disaster 2% or 50% or 90% worse really doesn't matter. We know it's always going to be some layer, but it's about preparing for it, becoming climate ready. In all disasters, we know that it is going to be some percentage of the equation, but we have to be focused not just, of course, on reducing greenhouse gases, but kind of reacting to this baked-in heat we've already created and getting ready for the next disaster.